Hey family, hey, 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 hey. It's Nicole Mason checking in with you this morning. I um, just finished my walk for the day before it gets too hot, but I wanted to come on to encourage you and give you uh, a word that the Lord gave me while I was walking, and that is he will see us through. I know there are many things going on around us with uh, uh, this coronavirus still alive and uh, moving and spreading every day. Um, certainly with this systemic racism that we are fighting, institutionalized racism and discrimination uh, that we are fighting, pushing back against, uh, and the violence that we are experiencing in our communities, all of these things going on around us at the same time. And if we're not careful, uh, certainly the enemy will use that to uh, cause us to have a sense of hopelessness and helplessness and all of the other things that would cause us not to stand on God's word, trust him, believe him, um, make sure that our um, faith is strong and steady. And so I wanted to just come on just to encourage you this morning and to let you know uh, that God uh, wants us to know and to trust him and to believe him and take him at his word uh, that he will see us through. And I'm reminded of uh, those from um, our past, our ancestors, whose broad shoulders we stand on and whose lives we can look to um, for guidance and for strength and for inner fortitude, uh, who were able to come through some atrocities and uh, some things that are certainly beyond human imagination that they experienced at the hands of uh, the oppressors and all of those that uh, enslaved them and, um, you know, reign supreme and uh, lorded superiority over them. And those things, of course, are still going on today. Uh, and so, number one, it is important for us to look back. And when we look back, it is important for us to pull on uh, the recipe for success that our ancestors certainly uh, um, implemented in their lives. And that is um, a connection with God, having a relationship with him, um, ensuring that they knew how to pray. Uh, I love to read the stories about how uh, the ancestors stole away into the hush harbors and uh, they would uh, defy the slave masters and they would pray and they would call on the name of the Lord until the power of God fell down to give them strength and to encourage them so that they can go back and deal with uh, those situations that they found themselves in. And so it is important that we have a relationship with God, uh, that we have a prayer life so that we too can uh, invoke and evoke the power of God uh, that dwells down deep on the inside of each one of us. And so that is my first point to you today in this five minutes to fill your faith is to look back, look back to see how far God has brought us and uh, the things that he brought us through to give us the impetus to know that this too shall pass that he will bring us through, that he will provide strategies, that he will uh, cause us all to raise up and rise up in our own spheres of influence so that um, we'll come through this and we'll come through this stronger and better uh, and more determined than ever uh, to stand flat-footed against the enemy, the wiles of the enemy, no matter what those things are, uh, to know that God is with us. And so that's my first point, look back. And then my second point, is to look up. Look up to the hills from which cometh our help. Psalm 121 uh, says it best. We have to look to the hills from which cometh our help. Our help comes from God who made heaven and earth. Listen, God is the end all be all. He knows what we need. He knows what's going on. Uh, he is waiting for us uh, to do something. He's waiting for us um, to act. He's waiting for us to stand up strong, uh, to utilize the power uh, that is already inside of us. Every answer we need is inside of us. And so we have to put our collective energies together to be able to come up with solutions and strategies for our own community. So start with your own spheres of influence uh, and then work out outwards from there. And then finally, 
after we look back and look up, we have to look forward. Uh, the word of God is true. Jeremiah 29 11 says it best. Uh, God knows the plans that he has for us and they're not plans to harm us or to destroy us, but plans to give us hope and an expected end. And what that simply means to me is that God already knows the end from the beginning of each one of our lives. In fact, uh, the word of God says that, that he knows the, uh, the chapters of every section of our lives, that there was a book with our lives in it. He knows from chapter one, all the way to the end. He knows the end from the beginning. So he knows how we're going to end up. He knows where he wants to put us. Uh, and that to me uh, symbolizes that God is concerned about us. And so don't let the situations around us cause us uh, to be duped into believing that God has forgotten us. Uh, and it may feel like that sometimes, but the reality of it is this is when our faith uh, has to rise to the occasion. This is when what we have been taught has to rise to the occasion and you have everything inside of you that you need uh, to get through these challenging times that we all find ourselves in. Certainly our hearts uh, commiserate with those who have lost their loved ones, uh, whether it's through COVID, uh, these other underlying issues that plague our communities more than they do others, uh, street violence, um, uh, all of these things that are impacting us. But this is uh, a clarion call to you this morning from the Lord. And and the Lord said to me to tell you that he is with you and that he is going to see us through just as he has done in times before God can be trusted to do it again. Pull on your faith files and your holy highlights of what God has already done uh, to encourage your heart so that you might be an encouragement to somebody else who needs a word of encouragement, who needs to know that God is with them and God has not forgotten about them. And so it is our time to uh, trust God even the more, uh, to be in relationship with him. And if you don't have a relationship with him, uh, I want to invite you to open up your hearts to God today and to let him in. Acknowledge that you are a sinner and that you need him uh, and that his son, Jesus Christ, died so that you might live. Uh, it's just that simple. Uh, and then begin to develop a prayer life and begin to uh, study the word of God. Uh, all of those things are available to you and available to each one of us as we all continue to grow uh, in our relationship with God. And so I just wanted to just come on and uh, encourage you today. God is with us and he is going to bring us through. Uh, be sure to keep your body moving uh, while we're in this time. Get out while it's cool so that uh, God can speak to you uh, individually, speak to you about the things that are concerning you. The word of God is true. He perfects all those things that yet concern us. And what that word perfect in that particular scripture means is he gives excellent improvement. Yes, God. He gives excellent improvement to the things that are concerning us. And so God can be trusted uh, and God will see us through. Uh, and so just to recap, uh, look back over what God has done, not just for you, but for our ancestors who have gone before us, uh, whose broad shoulders we stand on, who left a recipe for success for us. Look up, look up to God, look up to the hills from which cometh your help uh, and your help comes from God. God is a helper and he can be trusted. Uh, and so I better stop because I can go into a full blown preach word and it's only supposed to be five minutes to fuel your faith. And then number three, look forward. I know we have a lot of degradation around us, a lot of sorrow, a lot of sadness, uh, a lot of unanswered questions, a lot that we just don't understand. But there is a God, yes, Lord, uh, that can help us. There is a God that can encourage you. There is a God that you can trust and you can depend on, particularly when your uh, comprehension. Amen. So God bless you. Have a great day. Peace.